what is going on guys welcome back to the channel panthers advice today man we're going to break down some jadavion Clowney film but when we're going over this film there's a couple things we have to look at one of the first things we have to look at is where does Clowney right here line up majority of these plays and as you're going to see he lines up outside of the tackles outside shoulder so he's going to be the five tech the other thing to watch is what's happening next to him right is somebody chipping the tackle allowing for Clowney to come in freely is he earning these sacks? Those are a couple things to look at. So remember that, man. Let's jump into the film, though. So as we break down this first play, you get Clowney lined up on the tackle's outside shoulder. The other person to watch is the tackle right here. He's going to occupy the center and the guard, which gives Clowney the one-on-one -on -one right here. As the play develops, you're going to see, bang, he sees that tackle, bring that outside arm up. He's going to chop that thing down, and then, bang, rip right past it, and he's taken down Joey B. This dude, man, is a man-child. He's fast on the outside, and he's just too big. He's just too big. If you don't get around him, he's going right for your quarterback. Great stuff, man. Let's keep this thing going. The next play we're going to look at right here, you got Clowney once again lined up on the tackle's outside shoulder. We're going to let it go. Break it down after, man. Let's see what happens. Gets that one-on-one -on -one matchup. Fours is a bad throw, and look at that duck, man. Let's run this back real quick. So as we break this play down, you got Clowney lined up on the tackle's outside shoulder. You got the linebacker potentially pushing the B gap right there if he blitzes. And you got this defensive tackle playing head up on the center. So he could go over here or over here. But as you're going to see, he's actually going to go right because the Ravens are going to run a stunt on the left side. So this play isn't even designed for Clowney to get pressure. Take a look at this. As you're going to see the tackle, bang. He's going to crash down, occupies the guard and tackle. Edge guy's going to come over the top, and he's going to be right in Burrow's face. But on top of that, you also got Clowney beating his guy with that one-on-one. -on -one. Essentially a speed rush, as you're going to see right there, man. Great stuff once again. Let's keep it going. The next play we're going to look at, you got Clowney lined up on the tackle's outside shoulder. We're going to let the play go, break it down after, take a look what happens. Once again, Clowney is right there forcing another bad throw, man. Let's run this back so you guys can see what happened. So like I said before, when we break down these plays, let's identify a couple of things. One, is there going to be a double team? Most likely not because the Ravens are actually going to overload this side. So Clowney, once again, is going to get that one-on-one -on -one matchup with the tackle. Take a look what happens. Bang. He's just too quick. He's quite literally too quick. With his hands, with his feet, this dude is a beast coming off the edge. As you're going to see, he's shooting this gap right there. He's shooting this gap. And the Ravens overload this side over here as you're going to see take a look what happens right here we're going to let it go pause it right here essentially the ravens get what they want this defensive tackle is going to occupy the center and the guard right here so now it's three on two you get the linebacker going in you get your edge guy right here and you have your defensive back right here only two guys to block so watch what the tackle does right here though take a look what happens basically shoves the edge guy into the linebacker going in running back picks up the defensive back right there and the overload doesn't work. But who comes on the backside? Mr. Clowney forces a bad throw, man. Great stuff once again. Let's keep it going. All right, the next play we're going to look at, instead of Clowney being on the tackle's outside shoulder right here, he's actually on the tight end's outside shoulder. Now, some people call it a 7-tech. Some people call it a 9-tech. But you're going to see Clowney right here. We're going to let it go. Break it down after. Let's take a look at this play right here. Malik's dropping back. All right. Doesn't see much, tries to scramble, and Clowney's right there, man. Let's run this back real quick. Take a look at Clowney once again. So as we break this play down, I love what Clowney does right here. Lined up on the tackle's outside shoulder. So this tackle right here is going to float over here to pick up Clowney. But watch what he does about right here. He acts like he's going vertical. Tackle sees that. He's like, all right, perfect. I'm going to slide over, pick him up. Now watch the step Clowney takes right here. Basically a Euro step, right? Take a look at that. Bang, Euro step swim over the top and that tackles beat at that point right take a look at this one more time acts like he's going vertical tackle slides over Clowney's like all right gotcha and then bang right there taking down malik willis great stuff right there fools the tackle and once again he gets that one-on-one -on -one, takes advantage of it man and brings down the quarterback let's keep it going so on this play right here we're gonna see Clowney lined up over the tight end take a look what happens right here the Browns trying to run a little read option, and Clowney is right there taking down Mr. Deshaun Watson. Let's run this thing back. So as we look at this play, initially he's head up on the tight end. Let the play develop. Bang. He's going to shift over. 
the next thing you're going to see is him reading that read option, trying to figure out, is Deshaun going to keep it, hand it off? As you're going to see, he sees Deshaun pull that thing back, and he's in the backfield making plays once again. I love to see that, man. All these plays are literally from this past year, man. Great stuff. Let's keep it going. All right, the next play we're going to look at, you got Clowney lined up on the tackle's outside shoulder, except this time it's on the left side. We're going to let the play go. We're going to break it down after. As you're going to see this time, they run a stunt with Clowney, pushing that gap, man. Let's run this back real quick. So as we break this play down, you got this linebacker right here. He's going to shoot the B gap. You got Patrick Queen, who's going to time this perfectly. He's going to shoot the A gap. Now watch what Patrick Queen does right here. He shoots the A gap perfectly immediately crashes left along with the linebacker right here. That's going to force offensive linemen to basically go over here. They don't see Clowney coming over the top, shooting through the A-gap, as you're going to see, man. And there's nobody to stop him. Great call by the Ravens. Great hustle by everybody, man. Take a look at this one more time. Queen shoots that perfectly. And here comes Clowney. Hopefully, hopefully, we can see the Panthers run something like this, man, because that's scary right there. All right, the next play we're going to look at, once again, Clowney lined up on the tackle's outside shoulder, and he's just too big and too fast. I mean, he's literally too big and too fast. Takes down Herbert, causes the fumble, man. Let's run this back real quick. So as we break this play down, you're going to notice something that Clowney likes to do. He likes to act like he's going to crash in and then bang, dip it low and get to the outside. The lineman does a pretty good job right here. Take a look. He gets his hands up. Clowney is going to run literally right through him. Take a look at this right here. It's just crazy how fast and strong this man is, man. Let's keep it going. We have a couple more plays to go over. The next play we're going to look at, you got Clowney over here lined up on the left tackle's outside shoulder, as you're going to see. We're going to let the play develop, break it down after. Niners were in single back. Pretty didn't like anything. Wanted to scramble up the middle. And Clowney said, nah, not today, man. Let's run this back real quick. Clowney, we're going to see a bull rush from him. And this shows you how strong he is. Take a look at this. Bang. He's swimming over the top. He's like, all right, give me Purdy. Give me Purdy, man. And just basically destroys the offensive lineman, man. Great stuff right there. There's not a lot to break down. Bull rush, one-on-one. -on -one. He's winning that matchup, man. Great stuff. Let's check out our last play for Clowney. All right, our last play, once again, lined up on the outside shoulder of the tackle. Take a look what happens right here. We're going to see him get low, and he's just too strong and too fast. That's all there is to it. I'm not sure what Rudolph was doing right there with that ball, but let's run this back real quick so you guys can see. So Clowney's going to come off that edge, as you're going to see, basically just bend that shoulder. He's going to bend that shoulder, get low, and when he gets low and then comes up, he's got all that force he's going up with. That tackle, he can't block that. He's not in the right position to block that, right? Bam, fights that through, takes down Rudolph, man. Now, there's something else I want to show you guys before we end the video. Let's take a look real quick. So before we end the video, I wanted to go over one last thing with you guys real quick. We're not going to spend too much time on it, but we're going to go over DJ just for a quick minute because he's going to be playing opposite side Jadavion Clowney, right? And I see a lot of similarities, right? Plays outside, fast, quick with his hands, man. Bam, takes down the quarterback. The next play we're going to look at, you got DJ over here. Take a look what happens. He's going to get low, bend, basically a speed rush, takes down Derek Carr, man. Right here against the Broncos. You're going to have DJ going against the left tackle right here. Take a look what happens. We're going to see DJ with the spin move, man. Great stuff right there. So we're definitely going to go more in depth on this as the season gets closer. But I wanted to show you guys kind of what the Panthers have right now. Who's going to set the edge? That's Clowney. That's DJ. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Stay tuned. As always, more content coming soon.